It's day 353. Of the 29th year and beyond. Well, today's been a busy, busy day. Mm. Still in the process of getting um, Missy Ann ready to transition from home to university. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what's today? Today is Monday. Saturday, we will be taking Miss Amber to the University of West Georgia. Yay, West Georgia. <laughs> um, and I was just wondering, you know, as a dad, mm -hmm. um, are there any things that you are concerned about or um, do you have how are your emotions feeling? I mean, this is daddy's little girl. Um, you know. Just want her to do well. Um, I believe Amber is a very sharp um, young lady and uh, who will make wise decisions. So I feel pretty confident about that. You know, just realize that um, getting acclimated to the collegiate life, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there might be a little challenge uh, <laughs> not being at home for her. Mm -hmm. um, but Ultimately, I believe that, you know, she's she's somebody that will make sound and wise decisions. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to my topic. Um, Daddy's a little girl, mama's boys. Mm, okay. And, um, you know, one of the things that I've expressed before um, with you is that bothers me is when I see men with their sons and they're just sort of letting them walk freely, especially when they're under a certain age. When you say walk freely, what do you mean? They're not holding their hands. Okay. So they could be like five or four, and they're just walking in the child. But if it's their daughter, they carry them. They got them by the hand. What is that all about? Well, I think that's a traditional mindset that um, you toughen boys up, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think traditionally boys were given more liberty mm -hmm. than girls uh, because of that aspect. But now you, of course, you know. When John was that young, yeah, I know that, uh, wasn't, that wasn't my deal. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always been protective of both of our children mm -hmm. and um, uh, concerned about their health, their safety, their well-being. So, but traditionally, I think um, uh, the reason why you see some of those kinds of opportunities is because more uh, the expectation, even mm -hmm. even as a little boy, you're supposed to be tough. Where mm -hmm. a little girl is supposed to be cute and mm -hmm. beautiful and you know protected mm -hmm. where the little boy is supposed to grow up to be a protector oh, yeah. and you know one of the challenges I have with that is because I know a lot of young men because I work with youth and I know a lot of young men have they have father relationship or male relationship challenges you mm -hmm. know a lot of times they, um, I've dealt with young men and they have problems taking orders from men you know, um, they had problems even expressing if they were having a challenge to a man because they didn't want that man to feel weak. And I think, didn't you know... want to feel weak or want... They didn't want the man to think they, 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 they were, were the weak. weak. Okay. You know, and so I just, you know, I just wonder, you know, especially in this climate that we live in now, you know, um, is that something that we need to really look at? Is something that we need to, as parents, you know, be aware of that, you know, some of the choices that we make when they're smaller, some of the ways that we behave with them dictate how they'll behave when they get older. Well, you know, of course, I believe that um, the environment that one is raised in has a lot to do with how they see themselves and how they see the world. Uh, but again, for us, mm -hmm. um, you know, it was always my hope, and I know your hope too, mm -hmm. and, and intention, that we raise strong, independent mm -hmm. uh individuals who would embrace their authenticity right but be prepared to deal with whatever they had to contend with in the world yeah and so as parents whose children our last one is about to leave the nest um i just wanted to highlight that because i think that especially for you young people who are just now starting your families or planning to start a family think about how you're going to interact with your kids before they get here because once they're here, you're going through the motions and you sometimes will slide back into tradition, which isn't always good. Well, you know, um, you, you know, those are discussions that you want to have mm -hmm. before children arrive as far right. as, you know, how you plan to parent and, you know, how you want to help shape your child's life or do you want to help shape your child's life? I mean, all of those are significant questions, but, um, when you said how last one was about to leave, I noticed that I winced. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And so you know, I will be taking pictures on Saturdays of the tears of dad. Uh, until tomorrow. <laughs> if the Lord says the same. Bye.